welcome back to my channel. I've gotta be honest, I am both excited for today's video and a little bit nervous. I feel like this video is going to get a little bit controversial. So today I am going to be talking to you about animals that I don't particularly enjoy owning. And the reason why this is maybe going to be a little bit controversial is because I'm going to be talking about animals that I currently have, you know? actual animals of mine that I don't really enjoy owning. So before we get on with today's video, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I want to remind you all to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like animal content, then you will like my channel, so make sure you are subscribed. And now, let's go ahead and get on with this video. I own a lot of animals, as I'm sure many of you know. As far as as animals go, I have like 50 or 60 of them. There, There is a lot of animals in this house. And as someone who has owned many different animals, I have come to learn that there are some that I really, really love. There are some that I really enjoy. And then, I have also come to learn that there are some that I don't particularly enjoy owning that much. So those are the animals that we are going to be talking about today. I do want to give a quick little disclaimer that this is not me saying that these animals are bad pets or anything. Some of the animals that I'm going to name are some of like the most popular pets out there. I'm not saying these animals make bad pets at all, I'm just saying that they just don't particularly do it for me. They're just not an animal that I find particularly interesting to own. So with that said, let's go and get on with it. Now this is in no particular order or anything, so it's not like best to worst or worst to best or anything, it's just, just a list. But the first animal that I have on this list that I wanna talk about that I don't particularly enjoy owning is a gargoyle gecko. I am sorry, Derek, I really, really am, but I have just come to learn that I don't particularly enjoy owning gargoyle geckos. Gargoyle geckos are a fairly popular species of gecko in the pet trade, and they originally come from New Caledonia. Gargoyle geckos are fairly similar to the very popular crested gecko, and also fairly similar to Chihuahua geckos and Lichianus geckos. Now, I own a lot of different New Caledonian geckos. I own multiple crested geckos. I own a gargoyle gecko, I own Chihuahua geckos, I own a Legionis gecko, I own chameleon geckos, and if I am being completely honest, out of all of the New Caledonian geckos that I own, my gargoyle gecko might be one of my least favorites. Now to be completely honest, I don't have many specific reasons for this. I I really don't know what it is about gargoyle geckos that just don't really do it for me, but I don't know. I just, I find crested geckos so much more interesting. I find Chihuahua geckos way more interesting. I find chameleon geckos way more interesting, but gargoyle geckos, they just don't really do it for me. <laughs> Maybe it's because Derek has bit me a few times, I don't know, but then again, my Chihuahua geckos bit me before and that didn't really do anything, but I don't know. Like, I'm sorry that I don't really have any better reasons other than just, they just don't do it for me. I, I don't really know what else to say. Just out of the new Caledonian geckos that I have, my gargoyle gecko is just, the least interesting to me. Because of this, I, I don't really see myself getting any more gargoyle geckos, even though I love crested geckos, I love Chihuahua geckos, and I'm wanting to breed those geckos, I have no interest at all in working with gargoyle geckos or owning any more, so yeah, I, I don't really know why. I, I promise you some of the other animals I'm gonna say actually have reasons for them, but the gargoyle gecko just doesn't actually have many reasons. I just, I don't know, they're just not my favorite. Now, going with the trend of gargoyle geckos, another animal that I don't particularly enjoy owning is Legionis geckos. Now, you may have realized that when I was talking about New Caledonian geckos that I liked, I kind of skipped over the Legionis geckos, and 
That is because, once again, um, throughout my experience of owning a Lichiana's gecko, I've just come to realize that they're not the gecko for me. Again, there are just other geckos out there that I enjoy way more, they just bring me much more joy, and my Lichiana's gecko is just honestly not one of them. My Lichiana's gecko spends a lot of her time hiding, so I barely ever see her, and my Lichiana's gecko also just isn't very friendly, she can be a little bit defensive, and she's not really handleable, and I don't know, I think I've just kind of come to realize I'm not the biggest fan of Lichiana's gecko attitudes, they're also pretty stinky, they're pretty messy geckos compared to a lot of other geckos. Because they're so big, their poops are also so big, so Lichiana's geckos are a lot messier than other geckos, and that's definitely one of the reasons why I'm not a huge fan of them, but their attitudes are also the other reason, so I don't know. Both Gargoyle geckos and Lichiana's geckos just don't really do it for me. I much prefer the other New Caledonian geckos. Now, this next one is a super popular animal and honestly is maybe one that might come as a bit of a surprise to some people and that next one is a ball python. And the reason why I say this might come as a surprise to people is because if you're familiar with me then you would know that I have multiple ball pythons and you know why, why would I have multiple of of an animal that I'm not the biggest fan of. So let's let's talk about that. So when I first started getting into the reptile hobby, one of the first snakes that I came across were ball pythons. And at the time, I really, really wanted one. I did a lot of research and I decided that a ball python is what I wanted. So the first snake that I ever got was a ball python. After this, I kind of became a little bit obsessed with snakes. I wanted some more pet snakes. And then I learned about like ball Ball python morphs. So I started discovering that, you know, there are all these different kinds of colors and patterns of ball pythons. So I wanted to get a few different morphs and colors of them. And now I still love ball python morphs. I think there are many, many beautiful ones out there. Like I'm not saying anything bad about this, but after owning multiple ball pythons for multiple years, I have to be completely honest and say that I've just kind of found them to be really boring snakes. Not only do I own multiple ball pythons, but I own many other species of snake. And since I've owned both ball pythons and lots of snakes that aren't ball pythons, I've come to realize that I find a lot of the snakes that aren't ball pythons a lot more interesting. You know, my ball pythons, they don't really do a whole lot. They spend most of their time hiding. Sometimes they come at a, a night, but for the most part, they, I guess to just be completely honest, have kind of been boring pets. They don't really do a whole lot versus some of my other snakes that are just much more active, much more visible, more interactive. I don't know, ball pythons, they're just, they're not the most interesting to me. You know, I don't have anything against them. Like I've said, I don't think they're bad pets or anything. I think that ball pythons are lovely. They definitely have their pros. You know, even though I don't love owning ball pythons like as personal pets, they're great animals for my education program so like I'm certainly not just like totally talking crap about ball pythons I do like them but as far as just being a pet snake goes I have honestly just found them to be not very interesting and as a result I've just found myself much more interested in owning different species of snakes that aren't ball pythons okay so the next one on this list is another snake and this snake would be the Kenyan sand boa. Now, don't get me wrong, Kenyan sand boas are absolutely adorable snakes, and I honestly think that they can make really good pets, especially for beginners. However, I have owned a Kenyan sand boa since 2017, and similar to the ball pythons, I kind of just realized that I found my Kenyan sand boa to be a really boring pet, and Honestly, I found my sand boa to just be almost so boring to the extent that it just didn't feel like I had a pet at all. You know, sand boas will bury down in their substrate and then they just stay there until it's like time to eat, you know? I'll see my sand boa poking his head out like once a month. You know, I never see him. I feel like caring for him doesn't particularly bring me any joy because it honestly just feels like I'm caring for like an empty enclosure, you know? 
know, I, just, I make sure there's water, I make sure he's fed and that he has his heat and stuff, but like, I never ever see him. I just, I don't know. My Sambo is also not very nice. He likes to bite literally every single time you try and touch him. He is not a friendly snake. So even though I think that sand boas are adorable and I think that their care is very easy, I think that they're also a pretty boring pet, honestly, and not one that I really see myself owning again in the future. So now the last one on this list isn't like a specific animal, but it's almost just like a whole category of animals and that would have to be invertebrates. So this to me is really anything like tarantulas, scorpions, all of that stuff. Now I do enjoy keeping isopods, I guess I'll say that those are kind of the exception to this, but for the most part like with arachnids and insects and stuff, I just don't really enjoy keeping them. And now it's not that I don't enjoy these animals because I really do. I love of insects. Honestly, my animal fascination like started with insects. I have always been a big bug person, but to be completely honest, I don't super enjoy caring for them as pets. You know, in the past I've kept praying mantises, I have tarantulas and scorpions and stuff, and they're interesting animals. I think they're really cool, but I don't know, I just don't really enjoy caring for them as pets. I don't find their care to be very interesting to me. I don't find it to be very fun. Again, it's just not one of those things that brings me joy. I feel like I don't see a lot of the animals very often. They're oftentimes just like hidden away. So I don't know. Again, there's not really any like specific thing about invertebrates that makes me not enjoy them as pets. They just, they just don't really do it for me. Almost any time I've kept an invertebrate of any type, they just don't really bring me a whole lot of joy, especially when I'm comparing them to other animals like my geckos and stuff that I do really enjoy. So yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't have a lot of specific reasons for this. It's just not one of the animals that I have enjoyed keeping in the past. And as a result, it's not something that I really ever see myself getting into a lot. Again, other than like isopods. I do like my isopods. Isopods are cool. So there you go. There is a list of animals that I don't particularly enjoy owning. Again, please remember that these are just my opinions. I'm not saying these animals are terrible animals by any means. They're just not ones that I see myself buying again in the future as pets. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out and it costs you nothing, so why wouldn't you? Also be sure to check out my Teespring store. I finally have a merch store and I have a bunch of different awesome animal designs and over a hundred different products, so make sure you check that out. If you want to help support me and support my channel and these animals, consider getting something for your yourself or for someone else. Also be sure to check out my social media. Everything will be down in the description below or you can find me at MSM99 on all the things. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.